Do we have a General Electric 35826? Very rare, even rare modified. It's now covering the high block. Look at the power coming out of this thing. One, one, two, three, four, one, one. One. More than 15 watts coming out of this radio. Not like my others. <laughs> this thing blasts out. Yeah, okay, 26 Sugar Delta Mobile. This is uh, 34 Alpha Bravo 138 in the Canary Islands, base station, Roger. Yeah, okay, I got someone shouting QSK mic as well there. Yeah, I'm suffering a bit this side. I got a bit of noise over. Uh, I'm just about. Uh, I'm not quite picking you out there. Yeah. Okay. I think you said it was Stan. I know you said you was talking to me when you was mobile. When I was mobile, eh? Uh, come back again. Is it was it Stan? <laughs> Ah, Roger, Roger. Hey, yeah, how's it going? Uh, good to hear you again, eh? Actually, uh, just uh, been fiddling about with another radio, yeah? On a, on a General Electric, uh, very rare radio, this thing is. Just uh, just doing a video recording of it. So, uh, you're just about to be famous there, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Hey, well, I got you on uh, on candid camera this time. This is uh, just doing a first video for this radio. This is a very rare radio. I. Uh, I've only ever seen one in my entire life, and uh, I've been pretty invested in radios ever since I've been 18 years old, and I'm now 40. So uh, I've only ever seen one in my life, and uh, I've been like looking on eBay for about 15 years, looking for these things. And uh, I've only ever seen one other one for sale, which some guy outbidded me, and uh, I even managed to find out who the guy was, and I've been in contact with a guy because there's so little of these radios about, but. Uh, just doing a video, uh, a video recording. I got you on here, coming in nice and clear on that Signal 5 radio, Super 5. Uh, just doing a video recording because this radio actually only comes with a mid band, and I uh, just uh, modified the thing to uh, to get me onto this frequency there, Roger. Yeah, Roger. There. Well, actually, the other day the same thing happened to me. I'm always uh, doing some video cameras lately, but I never hear myself talking. And uh, some station come back sending me uh, a video of us uh, making contact. This guy in Germany. Uh, I was quite uh, quite interested to see it there. Uh, I wouldn't be able to put a video on today because I got some sort of a problem. I don't know what it is, but uh, I can re I record this stuff on uh, on the BlackBerry and uh, I plug in the BlackBerry phone to the computer and for some reason it's not recognizing uh, like the peripheral device plugged in. So I don't know what the hell's going on. And uh, I already made one video camera, just uh, one video uh, recording of my new uh, Am International Concorde 3 there. And uh, I tried to put it onto the YouTube, and uh, for some reason I can't uh, can't upload it. So uh, I'll have a go tomorrow in my work's QTH there, Roger. Yeah. 
Yeah, Roger, they went through sound excellent. I tell you what, when you look at this video, you realise how many stations I got coming in. I say you're a little bit uh, being trampled all over a little bit now, just uh, just over the last few minutes. But uh, I got a good uh, five, six minutes of recording you, yeah, and uh, you're coming in way a okay. So uh, hopefully, I'll get it uh, uploaded onto the old YouTube tomorrow, and you can have a scan. This will be uh, uploaded uh, with the General Electric 35826A description. So uh, you have to give me uh, send us an email and uh, and your call sign or whatever because I, I can't write it down at the moment. I'm holding a video camera with one hand and uh, mic with the other, <laughs> so I can put your call sign on the on the link there, Roger. <laughs> Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, actually, I picked up, uh, believe it or not, the other day, a uh, Hammond International Concorde 3 from Germany which uh, was in pretty remarkable condition on the outside and on the inside, but uh, faulty, obviously. And, uh, well, after pulling out quite a few uh, stashes of hay out of my head, I managed to uh, get a thing sorted out this morning, and uh, it's working 100% now. Uh, very nice-looking radio. Come with its original manual. And uh, I was pretty surprised to see it on the, in eBay.uk. The other day, one of these Am International Concord 3 manuals, they sold just the manual for like £40. Just the manual without the radio there. So uh, I managed to pick up the radio with the manual for €82, Euros it cost me all in all. And uh, the thing was faulty like, but uh, I got the thing working now. So uh, a few bucks is worth this thing, Roger. <laughs> Yeah, Roger, Roger, yeah, this is the one, yeah, it came about, it came about a fortnight ago, but I've been a bit, bit busy with some other things, I had uh, the Am International Multimode 2, I had all sorts of problems with uh, with RF feedback with that thing, I uh, expanded it, put the digi scan on it and everything, and uh, I had a hell of a problem with uh, RF feedback, well, uh, managed to sort out that problem the other day at last, and uh, the, the Multimode 2 is sounding awesome now. I've uh, got the thing sounding really good. Uh, put an echo chamber and stuff on as well and tested it out, and it sounds remarkable for for what it is. It's a 30-year-old set, the uh, Am International Multimode, and it uh, sounds wicked. The uh, the Concorde sounding awesome, and uh, this thing's sounding tidy as well. So, uh, basically, I've uh, just finished all my projects. I'll have to start uh, buying another one now, Roger. Well, I'll cut this video off because it's just coming up for 10 minutes.